hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i'm going to show you how you can calculate hazard index uh, by using uh, different indices so first of all uh, i loaded my area of interest which is muzaffarabad over here in pakistan and uh, i will explain uh, the whole code uh, step by step and i just want to show you that how you can calculate different indices like uh, standard precipitation index uh diff pdsi uh, soil moisture index and different so let's start so first of all uh, i define different variables like my class list uh, my spl killers and different things and for that first of all we're gonna calculate standard precipitation index and for that i selected the range as 2015 to 2022 and for that uh i'm gonna use the chips that uh, data set and uh, if you want uh, further you can study uh, about this data set over uh, google earth engine data set and uh, you can also check uh, about the band information so i'm just showing you you can uh, check all the other um, uh, data sets uh, that i will use further and you can read description from the uh, developers.google.com so here you can see the different uh, information that what's band resolution and which band is representing the rain and you can check different things here so first of all i can we gonna calculate standard precipitation index and you can get the formula over google and for that um, first of all uh, here you can see uh, i extracted uh, spi which is uh, we actually got a mean and then we uh, divided uh, that uh, over standard deviation so you can get the formula from uh, google and then after doing that then i defined five classes and it's up to you you can define classes by your own and for that you can review different literature so here i uh, i want to explain that lte is actually less than uh, and e represents equals to and gt means greater than if suppose if i will write here gte it means greater than or equals to so uh, it's representing the values and you can set these values according to your own needs uh, according to your own study area so the next one is soil moisture index for that uh, i'm gonna use nasa usda data set and uh, i selected the date range from one to six month and similarly to the uh, spi i defined five classes and there uh, as i earlier explained what is lte and gt gt means greater than or equals to and less lte means less than or equals to and these are the class values you can select these values or you can set these values according to your own study area and you can review different literature now the next one is pdsi here i explained that it's palmer drought uh, variety index so uh, you can further study about this uh, indices uh, these indices over google and uh, you can uh, follow different uh, uh, research, uh, research articles over uh, google scholar and uh, you can read further so here um, i similarly i explained that uh, you can define five classes and you can select the values as per your own study area so these uh, just values are uh, like uh, it's these are just assumptions uh, or just to show you the code and you can modify this code and you can select the accurate values for your study area i'm just using the uh, like uh, random values just to give you an example so these are not according to the muzaffarabad the area study area i'm using here so uh, you you have to uh, select the accurate values i'm just giving you an example in this code so the next one is vegetation health index so in this we're gonna use first of all we have to extract land surface temperature and ndvi normalized difference vegetation index so for, for both of them we're gonna use modis data set and uh, we're gonna extract the vegetation health index by using uh, temperature temperature condition index and vegetation condition index so we will use them then we will uh, get our main uh, vegetation health index so here uh, i explained that how uh, i applied scaled to land surface temperature and how i select uh, obtained 
vegetation condition index and then uh, i define temperature condition index where i defined uh, that uh, what is minimum temperature and maximum temperature then finally we got our uh, vegetation condition uh, sorry vegetation health index by applying the formula and you can read different articles i'm just using like uh, uh, i mean to say visual values just to give you an example to just to show you how you can like generate a code but you can get this code and you can uh, put your accurate values and you can get the accurate results for your study area and and you can see i designed code and i defined five classes for each uh and you see and you and uh, you and i uh, like obtain different uh, i mean to say i calculated different uh, indices so as i explained i calculated vegetation condition index uh, temperature condition index then i obtained vegetation health index and then i obtained soil moisture index uh, palmer drought severity index so after all that i applied the uh legend and then the main thing that i want to show you that at the end we will get uh, standard precipitation index minimum maximum soil moisture minimum maximum pdsc palmer drought variety index minimum maximum uh, vegetation health index minimum maximum and hazard index maximum and minimum so um these uh this is all about the code and uh, once again i am reminding you that uh, i used uh, uh, just virtual values uh, these are not accurate values just to give you an example but you have to define the accurate uh, values uh, by reading different articles and so uh, then you will get the accurate results but the code is fine you can use you can uh, utilize and modify this code as per your own requirement but here i am showing you different layers as a result you can see and uh, in console you can see i got the uh, minimum maximum for each class this is standard precipitation index then i got soil moisture uh, uh, minimum maximum so you can see the value uh, smp max smp minimum and pdsi uh, maximum uh, minimum uh, you can see and then vegetation health index uh, maximum uh, minimum maximum and hazard index uh, minimum and uh, maximum so you can see constant max and the constant min. so uh, this class is all about the hex uh, hazard index so it will um, like bit take bit time to compute so i'm just uh, going to save your time so i'm just going to show you the different layers which are easy to um like uh, which are loaded uh, so uh, here you can see first of all uh, it's like showing soil moisture index so this one is layer of soil moisture index and this one is like pdsi layer and uh, at the last i will show you vegetation health index so this one is the final layer uh, sorry not a final uh, our final layer is hazard index so it will take bit time so you can try it on your own study area and you can get this code just simply mail me i will send you the code and uh, you can gen then you can select accurate values according to your own study area so these are the classes and uh, hope uh, you got the procedure and uh, you can further you can get these formulas over google and you can also get this code from me and uh, you can modify this code as per your own requirements and you can utilize it in your research just feel free to mail me so i hope that it was helpful for you all so have a nice day and uh, remember me in your prayers thank you for watching my video once again i'm just going to show you code and uh, you can mail me and i will share this code with you thank you stay blessed take care bye